Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to install all your favorite apps with one click. So this is a video that was requested on my Discord server. So I thought I'd make a quick video showing you how you can do it. It's very simple and easy to do. So first thing you need to do is head over to this website here. It's called Winstall. And basically it's got over 3,700 plus applications and it's growing every single day. You can see it's in categories of web browsers, essential tools, entertainment, work for home, and also a bunch of other categories here. So it's got all your useful apps that you're going to need, whether it be gaming, developers, social media, or school. You can create a pack. Down here, once you create an account, you'll be able to create packs of your own particular bundles of apps that you want to use, or you can just create a script for those apps that you choose. So for instance, if you click on say Ear Trumpet and then Google Chrome and say ShareX, and you click on a bunch of other applications that you want to do, so click on View All, we can go through the complete list here of apps. And you can choose, for instance, say Average IP Scanner, and you can choose some other apps and add these to your list. This means that all of your apps that you have to tediously install one by one when you reinstall Windows, it can be tedious and tiresome and take a long time. Whereas this means you can select all of your favorite applications and then just install it. So I'm just going to add a bunch of these to uh, the script. And then when I click on the script, it's just going to go down and pull these down and it's going to install them for us. And I'll show you how it works in a second. Let me just add a few more uh, applications. So we're going to do this IOMI backupper and we've got all of our other software. You can have your Discord, your gaming applications, all of your usual stuff that you install. You go down to generate your script or if you want to create a package, you would need to set up an account, but we're going to generate a script here and download it. Now, once we get this downloaded, it will be on our desktop. We're going to edit this and I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a single line of code here. And what it's going to do is it's going to go off and start to install this onto our PC. And when I click on it here, it's gone ahead and it's starting to pull this down on my PC and install it. So it's going to say, do you agree to all the sources, agreements and terms? So I'm going to say, yes, I do. And you can see here it's download uh, Ear Trumpet for us. And it's gone ahead and it's starting to download and install that successfully installed. It's going to go ahead and it's found Google Chrome. It's going to go ahead and pull that down and we have to go through and just quickly install it just like so. No more of that going to websites and downloading it. It will just quickly download and install them on your system, just like it's doing right here. So super fast way of getting all of the apps that you use on a regular basis. Now, of course, this will save you time if you're setting up uh, computers on a network and you've got a bunch of computers that you need to install all of the same software on. You can just run this batch file right across and just install it on all of those computers without taking all of that time of going to each machine and downloading all of those software one by one. So it's a really essential bit of kit that just saves you a lot of time and hassle of having to go off and download all of these. And again, you can update these as well. It keeps all these applications updated with some simple commands. And you can also upgrade uh, the script itself and add more programs to that script if you wish. And uh, basically, that's what you need to do. So just go ahead and let these download and install. Some of them take a bit of time because obviously they're bigger files, but it shouldn't take too long at all. Now, you will need to install one little application, and I'll quickly show you where to get that from the Microsoft Store here. Just open up the Microsoft Store, and all you need to do here is type in here App Installer. And basically, once we've done this, you can do a search. I've already got installed on my system. And you can see here, App Installer by Microsoft is here. I've already got it installed. You just double click on this and it will say install it. But as you can see, mine's already installed here. I'll quickly click on this to show you. And you would just uh, go up to the right hand side and install the application. Now, you can also get this from GitHub as well. So there is a page over there which you can download it. If you have disabled, say, for instance, Microsoft Store and you can't use it, you can get it from GitHub. Uh, and I'll quickly show you that as well. Here it is here. And all you need to do here, this is Microsoft that have created this. So all you need to do is go to the latest uh, page here 
and you can see Windows Package Manager. And uh, you can see and read all the article here. There's plenty of information about what they've fixed and what they've added and uh, stuff like that. You can go all the way down to the bottom and there will be some download links there which you can uh, download and then get this installed on your system. Once that's installed, you can just go ahead and select all of the applications like I showed you and you'll be able to just run them from a script just like I showed you in this video. So that is the install now all done. It's completed and there is the batch file there. You can keep that and use that again. And if we head over here, you can see we can go on here. And again, there is some apps and packets and stuff like that. And you can see there's a lot of applications here that you can use. Everything from Discord to VPNs, uh, software and stuff like that. You can add all this to your list. Makes it super, super easy. And if there's a program there that you want that isn't listed there, I'm pretty sure like Steam, Discord, uh, Epic Games, NVIDIA drivers, other things like that, they're all there as well. I'm pretty sure if there is a file or a, a program that you use that you want to uh, add to this list, I'm pretty sure it will be added at some point, especially if it's a pretty popular one uh, that you want to add in. So for instance, all your Skype and Zoom and other things like Evernote, Microsoft Teams, all of your usual stuff is here as well. Your browsers, you can choose whatever ones you want. Same thing for uh, GIMP and things like that. They're all added in there as well. And if you want to add more, all you need to do is just go back to that page and just say, for instance, you've got Logitech software. You can add that in and add this in and then just re-download the batch file and it'll be added to your list. That simple. So we've got 15 apps added on there and you can add as many as you like. So if you're looking for getting your job done very quickly when you're installing windows then this is the way forward anyway i think that is going to be about it for this video you can see all of the apps installed on my desktop there and it's so simple my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i appreciate the support and i shall catch you in the very next video thanks again for watching have a nice day bye for now